Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Here we go. LeBron James. Ladies and gentlemen, if you just came in here, don't forget to hit the like button. It's your boy Carcino here. Yes, right. Don't forget to follow at Kwame Brown Bus Life at Self Talk. This is something we need to talk about. Don't think I didn't hear y'all this morning. Y'all in the chat. Oh, you knew we were going to talk about this. Talk about this. You know we was going to talk about this. Um, This artist named It's Sade made this mural of LeBron James in Akron to promote his new movie, that space crap movie um, near, uh, what's it, on North Valley Street over in Akron, right by the West Market. Now, as you can see, it was defaced overnight to where someone had a spray can gave him a clown nose and wrote La Flop right across it and you know what Sino called it right chickens coming home to roost that's what Sino calls it Chickens coming home to roost. Because this thing gets a lot deeper than what people can realize. Now, the artist did a great job making this mural. And I want to say this right now. I do not promote vandalism. This is not to promote vandalism at all vandalism is a cowardly act if you're going to vandalize someone's property at least do it to their face face them let them know you did it so it could be no doubt who they can come after this is like throwing stones and hiding your hand Vandalism is a punk move. That's like keying somebody's car and going home. Let them know you keyed their car and then deal with them. Better yet, don't do it at all. Confront that person. Because we want to know what's the, what's the reason behind this. I would love to know the deeper meaning behind that, right? Because they're going to say, oh, they got that from you. No, that wasn't me, ladies and gentlemen. I did not do this. They could try to frame me. I probably got some doggone, <clears throat> probably got it right now in my garbage can. Some doggone red spray can pans, I mean, cans somebody then dumped in there. Mm-hmm. Now the words they said La Flop. Right? Meaning one thing. The movie. And LeBron James. Flippity flop, flippity flop, flippity flop, flop, flop flip-flops because he's people are not happy with this individual i told you he's not beloved they try to shove him down people's throats and people just don't care they don't care about lebron james they just don't nobody cares bro now why is he going through this this is his hometown akron they supposed to love you right this is akron they love you but this ain't the first time this has happened to LeBron now, is it? 
Remember the king of L.A., Miro? As soon as he got there, king of L.A.? Really? Wow. As soon as he get there. And then... What's that? We don't want you. Three and six, La Fraud. No king. Could this be the same person? Did that person journey, journey all the way to Akron? Just so that they, they can put this message out? Because they're accurate. They're very accurate on here. I don't see a lie that they put up here. Very accurate. Again, I don't agree with vandalism, but it shouldn't have been there in the first place. Now, this young lady who made this artwork she was very proud of it, and she did a great job making the uh, artwork for the project. But when everything that then went on in this past, to say past week, week and a half, and what's been going on, let's take a look at what's been happening that LeBron has been very quiet on. Your white zaddy is on tape talking about some he's exhausted from Black Lives Matter and Me Too. What he supposedly is writing for you to promote on your page. And he's one of your closest advisors and is a co-founder of More Than a Vote. Trying to get the blacks to come out and unify and vote and do all these other things, right? But he's exhausted by what he's been promoting and pushing on his page. That's not a good look for you, LeBron, because you kept your mouth closed and didn't say nothing about it. Then Cappy comes out, makes some huge, huge allegations against you, LeBron. Named you personally, claiming money being missing was from you. A lot of different things and claims that was made by Cappy. Again, no response from LeBron James. No response, right, to the people. Why not? Why you not? You could talk about everything else, but when it's real and the spotlight is on you, mom is the word, huh? Now, let's see what else went down. We're talking about evictions, a major issue across Ohio and hitting the city of Akron very hard. In fact, the rubber city has the highest rate in the entire state. News 5's Bob Jones is live in Akron tonight. Bob, an eviction task force is in the works to try and address this problem? Well, Tracy, it's made up of city, county, and nonprofit leaders all looking for ways to keep more people inside their homes. Here are some of the concerning numbers in the city of Akron. The highest eviction rate in the state, the 24th highest rate in the country, and a 24th highest rate in the country. And according to Akron Municipal Court records, there have been between 3,500 and 4,000 evictions in each of the past five years. That's why they pissed. That's why they pissed, LeBron. That's why they pissed off. Your hometown don't love you because they bought your shoes. They bought your jerseys. They thought you were one of them. You were not. You used them. You used them, Bron. You took all their love and support and you ran it into the ground. Did you even put out one tweet about Akron, you, Mav Carter? None of you. Y'all didn't even tweet about it. 
And when I said it on Kwame's page, people woke up and said, yeah, you know what? This dude ain't do nothing. He came home plenty of times, made the I Promise school, and you know what you're doing over there. You know what they're doing this evictions for. This is why I threw it on LeBron's shoulders. I know the government's supposed to do their part, but I'm like, you didn't even put out a tweet, but you put this out, right? Everything these kids are going through, the drugs, the violence, the guns, everything they're going through as kids, I know. For me to bring, be in position where I have the resources, the finance, the people, the structure, and the city around me, why not? <coughs> Mm. So why not, LeBron? Why not a tweet? Why not? You just answered it, Brian. Why not? Why we haven't seen a tweet? Why we haven't seen anything done since you got the resources, the finances, the people, and the structure, and you got the city around you? Why they ain't around you when people are getting evicted? They ain't around you, huh? You promise. Who you make that promise to? Them people sitting over there? It wasn't to the people of Akron. Who you make that promise to? In the I Promise School. Who, who you make that promise to? The Akron Public School System. You see that right there in the middle? Akron Public School. So this is a public school, ladies and gentlemen. That means they dictate the curriculum of the, at the, the academics that is taught at this school. The state and the public school system. Understand that. In LeBron James's school, supposedly. See, Brian? We all know what's going on. That school is located over there by West Hill, right on Market Street. That used to be the administration building for the public school system, right? And then they just turned it into a LeBron James school. Now, you think we don't know the problem with this school? That the people and the taxpayers are starting to see because they were deceived. They voted on this. They loved the project and what it initially was supposed to look like, but had no idea what it was gonna mean for them. See that Highland area over there? They're gentrifying over there. Everything around the school is being gentrified. And what they didn't know was how expensive it was going to be. The school costs about, what, $8 million to run? That's a heavy burden on the taxpayers, mainly the poor. The state and the taxpayers in there, they got to pay for this school. They didn't know they were signing up for that, LeBron. Why are you making the people of Akron pay for your school? And now, what they doing since they've gentrified the area, LeBron? You know exactly what's going on. <laughs> it's tragic, ain't it? Now you wanna know what they doing? Now if you meet the criteria, let's say qualify, Guess what you're doing now? If you qualify to get into LeBron James School, most parents are reluctant to go because it's a huge tax increase. So they don't even put their kids in there because their taxes go up so much. Oh my God. So then of course, they don't allow the kid to go because they have a lottery system, don't you? The kid just qualifies to be involved in a lottery then you got to get chosen to be into the school where your taxes will be increased. 
which makes the poor disenfranchised people that look like you, LeBron, say, I don't want to do that. And then you have more people that go to that school that don't look like you, LeBron. But they can't say they weren't given the opportunity, right? Woo, boy, you people love following behind these doggone idols. Hmm? Idolatry. This is what gets you guys. And you fall for the biggest fraud in the history of sports. There has never been somebody as more fraudulent as this. Everything I've stated to you has been fact. And you will notice and still root for this guy. Wow. As you can see, the city of Akron ain't feeling that way. They seeing it. First hand. People are speaking out. The time is up. Being misled by frauds, that's got to end. That's got to stop. Because they're keeping y'all confused. Keeping y'all displaced. And lagging behind. Everybody else. Just as long as they get a billion dollars. Now, $8 million a year it takes to run LeBron school. So when they're running low on money to run the school, guess what they do? They cipher and suck out money from all the other schools that's in the local poor disenfranchised areas. Start cutting back on their money to help fulfill LeBron James's whatever his school needs to get to the quota and get to the mark. To get over the hump. LeBron is not financially obligated to put any more money into the school. Period. He just wanted his name on the door. So, I want to thank everybody who liked this video. Don't forget, this video is important. This video is factual. This video is on point. 100%. We do not, and I would say do not, do not champion vandalism at all. Carcino is totally against vandalizing stuff. I would ne never vandalize someone else's property. That's the most cowardly thing to ever do. Especially if you're not going to let them know it's you. So I do not champion this whatsoever. Now, what I do say is that this message is clear. And now that y'all know what's been going on in the hometown, you know this ain't nothing Sino just made up. All this stuff that's been going on around LeBron had nothing to do with me. But now that we're seeing it unfold, people got to start asking questions. It's time to start asking the questions now. I'm out.